Hey there YouTube, what up with? And welcome back to the Hermit Gamers playthrough of Warhammer Mark of Chaos and we are up to the Orc and Goblin campaign, the very first chapter, Green Tide Rising. Let's get in there. Stand back, and unlike the Hordes of Chaos campaign, we actually do get a sweet in-game cinematic, which is pretty cool. So let's go check that out. The Empire of Man is in ruin. Chaos warbands broke the lands, killing and slaughtering. But a new danger threatens to engulf the Empire. Thought for the day, again. Chaos is mean. And isn't that, that's the same Chaos guy who got shot in the face in the other one. He came back. They do look badass, but then so do the Imperial Soldiers. And they do a good job making walks look scary in this intro. From the east come the orc and goblin masses, streaming over the mountains in an unstoppable tide. Dozens of green-skinned tribes have united beneath the crude banner of a powerful orc war boss drawn together into a mighty war by the promise of bloodshed, warfare, and slaughter. The mountains shake with the thunderous din of war drums as his warriors surge toward the Empire in their thousands, descending on the beleaguered realm of man with but a sole purpose, to destroy everything in their path. Yeah, but we get like four units. This is what I don't like about this campaign. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's such an improvement, but the story is just... They just pulled it out of their ass. Just a few tweaks, and this could be such a good campaign. The story could be way more immersive. So here's our um, mighty war, and this is my first issue with this story. Is it's like they could have cured, they could have fixed so much about the story by just saying that 
you know, Globash was a, a scrubby orc. Well, not scrubby orc, but, you know, he was like a budding orc warboss looking to put a war together. Because this ain't no freaking war. This is two units of boys and one unit of Arab boys. Um, on the mechanical side, though, as I say, this campaign generally is an improvement. I mean, they clearly thought a little bit more about the character skill trees here. Um, I don't think the Orcs have the greatest skills, to be honest. Like, um, yeah, this Green Roar is not particularly great. Uh, wow. Yeah, this one's not particularly great. But, you know, generally things like these passives, you don't have to spec into them. So, for example, as soon as I get level 15, I want, I can start maxing out Bladestorm. I can start maxing Swift Command, Tenacity, Warmonger, you know, all that good stuff. And it's a similar story with my Shaman. You know, I can start getting Swift Command, I can start getting Tenacity. <coughs> Sorry. As soon as I'm high enough level, don't have to worry about um, <coughs> that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this sort of... A Gork Smash is good, but the big drums is pretty awful. The War Boss's unit buffs are pretty terrible. Anyway, let's just get these guys into uh, units and spend their first skill points. So obviously, Tenacity is going to be first for this guy. Tenacity is just such a great skill, you know? It's just like extra armor. Who doesn't want extra armor? Extra armor is, you know, so good. And this guy's best skill is probably Gork Smash. Um, Morcus Wibus is friggin' phenomenal when you can unlock it. Anyway, so we just want to push our forces yeah, over here. As you can see, there's some scrubby little dwarves. Yeah, we're just gonna run those little grubbers down. We can't go over this ground, it'll damage us. I mean, you can run over it if you want, but I don't know why you'd want to. Our orcs have a pretty big charge range, and as you can see, they're pretty quick when they charge, so... And that's one nice little plus. Generally speaking, we have a pretty weak roster to start with, and it's kind of frustrating, because it's like, you know, if you want to do the whole thing, where it's like, you, you know, you're like, okay, well, we've done the sort of, the campaign where we're easing you into the game, but now, you know, we assume that everyone understands the mechanics and understands how to play the game, and we don't need to sort of ease them in. <clears throat> you know, this is a more advanced campaign and we can just sort of drop them in the deep end. Great, I like that stuff. But here's the thing, if you're going to do that, if you're going to drop me in the deep end, then give me my roster. Don't make me wait, like, you know, 15 missions before I can actually start recruiting decent units. That's terrible. That's a horrible fucking idea. But, eh, not much I can do about that. we got to get in here and, uh... Save our... Boys, as you can see, there's annoying rangers up there. There's no point trying to like get into a arrow duel with them. Arrow boys are pretty good at arrow duels, but rangers are better in every way. They're just as good in terms of their hit points, and they're tougher. You know, better at better hit chances, more armor, and using the earthquake is. I mean, it's not really going to have much impact on dwarves. Due to their innate magic resistance. So it's more for disruption than anything else. But we get some more boys here, some more arrow boys. We will get some boar boys soon. And uh, boar boys are really good. They're like Chaos Knights. They've got a little bit less punch in the charge. I think they have a little bit less resistance. Uh, they're almost as tough. Good armor, three hit points. And they have this really great ability called Spear Throw, which can be extremely devastating. So yeah, I probably want to get Gorbash with this slightly more busted up unit just to improve their armor a smidge. And we just keep pushing forward here. Uh, I could send my arrow boys to shoot them down. But I think we'll deal with them later. Let's just push through here. Who you want, Shot Boss? 
Oh, whatever. I'll have the Arab boys start shooting at them. If they're actually going to start shooting at them, please. Excuse me. Alright, you were fucking in range and now you just walk it. Alright, fuck it, whatever. I can't actually control my units, apparently. I can't issue basic orders to them, they just do whatever they want. Alright, so here are the ball boys, I can show you their spear throw. It's a really good ability. You won't notice the damage it does so much against dwarves because each dwarf has two hit points, so it's not going to start, you know, popping them, but. Just make sure these guys are not on stand ground. Make sure my arrow boys are on shoot at will. Uh, ball boys, please, come on. Stop fucking around here. Three spears. Good show. Wow, they really just decimated them. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to deal with these rangers. What's the plan? We'll stick a good boss. Our boys. I mean, are we actually going to shoot them or what? Like, this unit's shooting, but this unit won't. So what's going on here? Alright, there we go. What do we got here? Dwarf Warriors, Dwarf Warriors. Let's pull back. I want my arrow boys to be able to. Oh fuck off, game! Seriously? Why? All right. Can't, game can't make up its mind whether or not we can hit them. Yeah, this sort of stuff just feels like lazy level design. Let's chuck some spears. Special abilities in. Why am I? Jesus Christ. This is like this bullshit with AI artillery where it's like they keep disappearing so you can't actually attack them unless it's just after they've attacked you. Like I said, this is just bad level design. Like why can they see us and attack us but we can't see them and attack them? Like it's obvious just turn off fog of war for the AI which just creates all of these really unfair mechanical disadvantages for the player which is like that's fine if that's the way you want the game to be but it's like when I'm also fighting an uphill battle in terms of like they have more numbers they're just as upgraded as us they have elite units like hammerers and, and we're just you know rolling with scrubby orc boys like it's like you know please make up your mind What we're uh, supposed to be up against here, is it, you know, do they have mechanical advantages? Do they have numerical advantages? Like, they can't have everything. That's not, like, you know, that does not make for a fair game. I mean, it's a great way to manufacture difficulty for a lazy game designer. Yeah, we're doing okay. These guys haven't really taken much damage, it's just gaining chevrons. There is like a trap up here. Because in addition to getting, you know, hammers and other elite units, they also get artillery, which is nice. Spring that trap. My war boss can go grab that potion. I think there's a uh, effigy of Gork here. 
My war boss is going to need all the healing potions. And if we can, I'll pop that off Effigy of Gork to increase the number of ball boys because... Each additional ball boy is an extra spear when we use our spear throw, which means more damage. And also they're just a very elite unit, so you know, if you're going to replenish any unit, it might as well be an extremely costly elite. Now they're just getting hit points. Let's get more arrow boys. We don't worry about their hit points, just the model count. As ideally these guys will be staying out of harm's way. And each arrow boy is an extra arrow, so obviously that's nice. Fifteen. Seventeen. Please the best Just tell us where they 15, are. 16, 17, 18. Right, there we go. Right. The boys. Just the regular old boys. Get them some replenishment. We can take out their rock lovers with spear throw with spear throw. So at least they give us some tools here. We do have to dodge these freaking hammers, though, which is, uh, troublesome. Also, I feel like my, yeah, my view's a bit wonky here. Good old boy, boys. Spear from that rock lover. Boom. Done and done. I'll clear out of here, wait for the spear throw to recharge. Get moving, stupid pigs! Did I lose a piggy? Come on, move out! Where do we go there? Store for us, store for us, and hammers. Doesn't look like I lost any piggies. It's hard to be certain. Though. Something boss. Push forward here because it looks like they're coming after us. It'd be nice if just the hammers came. We shall see. We shall see. As you can see, the cooldown on spear throw is not very long. Something shooting at us? Dogs with us. No. Break out that fungus spear. Alright. Just dwarf warriors, dwarf warriors. Oh, fucking rangers. Alright. Gonna have to send the piggies. I am the best shaman ever. We'll crush them. There's all dead boss. Smack into them. Don't worry about killing them. You're gonna have to charge straight past and go full rock lava. Something up. What are my units doing? This is proper errors. Hey boss, stick them with your spear. Yes, boss. I'll take them out. That big green flows through me! Alright. Alright, why is the why is the growth throw not dying? What is going on? He does not die! Growth throw, are you gonna die? Good. You obey. Stick up with your spear! Alright, that wasn't too terrible. Queen's the best shots! My arrow boy is still in very good condition. The boss wants us to move. Yeah, there's a pain now. You heard the boss, lads. Only lost a couple of ball boys. We can come up here, it'll trigger like a little cave in. I think that's an effigy of Gork. Not a hundred percent. I know we do get at least one more in this. Do you have some, like, treasure down here? Alright, 
What's your order? So, and there will be rangers, obviously. I'm just gonna poke the dwarf warriors. Very nice. What are you? Just push forward a little bit here. Something smells funny over there. Dogs with us. Break out the fungus beer. Jump on me as soon as you see him, boys. Jump on me as soon as you see him, boys. <laughs> Uh, Who you want shot, boss? Why my arrow boys not like shooting at us? Oh, whatever. Come on, boys, get running. Get moving, stupid pigs. Arrow boys, please. You got something to say? You can't speak to me. Give him some boot leather. The more boys is on it, boss. What's up, boss? Not too bad. Looks like we kind of were able to get into them piecemeal here. Throw the spears, boys. And follow up with a nice chop. Ooh, just deleted that unit. Very nice. Still got to take these rangers, obviously, but be getting close. Lots of shiny stuff here, boss. And these guys have got two chevrons, so if we do find a effigy of Gork. We'll definitely want to increase their numbers more. Uh, where are my piggies at? There we go. Two for the gaps. Take the building! Alright, boss. We'll stick up Everyone good else. They're out of here. I think we get a magic chopper here. It's nothing special. Yeah, thunder chopper. So. Throw away enemy models. Yeah. Magical infusion. Not much point giving them to the shaman. Because, uh, you know, his earthquakes just do basically no damage whatsoever. I think this is the effigy of Gork we're looking for. The droid we're looking for. It's not going to go anywhere near replenishing our entire army, but. Where are you going, Gorbash? Also, Gorbash, someone saw Flight of Dragons. Eating up that replenishment, dickheads. It's my piggies. And I probably should replenish their hit points as well. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, why not? If I do though, that means I you know, I have to use them for more than just the spear throw. Really get them stuck in there and make the most of them. Pretty sure we can get burned if we walk there, so. I'd like to push forward, but I've got to wait for this guy's stamina to recharge. Let's just go get some hit and run spear throws. And now that this unit is up to double chevrons and there's so many more ball boys, the spear throw is just way more devastating now. So we've got the hammers and hammers. And I'm sure they'll have some. Cloaked Rangers. We want to stick up with your spears. Devastating. Get moving, stupid pigs. You heard the boss, lads. Boy, stamina is uh, all the way back. Let's get into position. What's the play? Is the best. Yeah, we want to get through here without walking on the uh, 
the lava, if possible. You heard the boss, lads. Nothing can stop me. We'll stick a good boss. The edit. You know that game when you're kids, like the floor is made of lava? I'm going. Mork tells us where We're literally playing that game. Come on, give me another spear throw. Should just about delete this unit. We want no. Get moving, stupid pig. Boss wants a couple of arrows. Charge him! He's attacking us. Ooh, nice fat alpha strike there. There's own dead bosses. I is the best. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'll take that. And I think this is where we can get to those filthy rangers. I think there's an item down here as well or something, so... And the game's all like, oh, go explore that area, but I'm pretty sure there's literally just, like, a health potion. I mean, we need it, but... Well, we will need it. Let's go spear through those hammers. Got a idea or Hopefully I can avoid like tying them all the way into my war bosses back, but we'll see. Because I, I want to use these spear throws when they're not on cooldown. Oh, look at that. On, Just about wiped them out. There's one hammer left. <laughs> you might as well push up. What is it? Come on, Fatso war boss. Get down here. Yeah, see, it's literally a potion. Maybe if you're playing on easy, there'd be something better. I don't know. Or medium. I I've like haven't played either of these games on medium for so so long. I think the very first time I played through the human campaign, no, no, chaos campaign, because I was a very chaos fan back in the day, and Skaven, obviously. Although I didn't know we would get to play Skaven. But yeah. Very first time I played through the Chaos Campaign. I'm pretty sure I put it on easy. And I was just like, oh my god, that was ridiculous. Although some of the jewels were still frustratingly challenging. For me to do? Uh, like, some of the jewels after turning into a Demon Prince. Because he is such a wet noodle. Like, this guy... Wait till our Orc Warboss gets steaming. He'll put Fulgar to shame with his dueling prowess. Now hopefully they'll turn around and go away. I can just keep... Yeah, picking at them with spear throws. Takes time. That's fine. I can always uh, just fast forward the waiting. Yep. I left to get something, came back, and off cooldown. Hope I didn't leave that for too long. Hold on, what's going on here? Which unit's healthier? Let's go for the healthier one. You just get a charge off. And then you can pull out. No, of course you won't. You ignore me. Just do whatever you want. Mm, that wasn't bad. Very few casualties. Now we come to the big fight. There's there. Dwarf Lord. I wonder if I can challenge him. He's like level 8. It's ridiculous, but... I do have a few health potions. I can't save, so... If I do try to challenge him... It's uh, do or die. Yeah, he's got a pretty decent army as well. 
he's in with a unit of hammers too, which is the most annoying part. It's like it means I can't chip his health down with spear throw or my arrow boys. There he is. I swear that these green skins shall not live to see the setting sun. We're going, boss. Change of plans. So he's got 24 hit points. And he's level 10. We're going, boss. Jesus. We're going, boss. Stop slouching. Gorbash has 21 hit points, he's level 2. Should I get another spear throw? Soften him up. Or Zerkovich would say, soften him up. Ready to match eight, boss. Listen, boss. I might do just that. Soften up that unit of hammers. That way I can switch my arrow boys onto He'll the dwarf lord. Good, boss. Stop He'll do the most damage to my army out of all of the units in his army. I mean the rangers are somewhat dangerous if we can't get to them and shut them down, but Come on, move out. Alright, he's damn near isolated. Are they charging? Something that boss. Gorks is in the best. They are. The more boys are ready, boss. Shut down the missile support. Looks like he attached to another unit, dickhead. No, oh, he's not hitting my heroes. Oh, we don't have enough power to use Green Roll. Oh, beautiful timing on the challenge. You want me to do something? What is it, Runt? Wait, why are you not attacking him, please? Look how much damage he's doing. Jesus. worked out about as well as it could have, about as well as I know how to pull it off. Let's get to our first camp. Now, yeah, I can avoid replenishment here. So one unit of uh, Du Bois. And uh, these are our, this is the only county unit that we actually have access to, these Goblin Spear Throwers. They have the Giant Slayer trait. And personally, I think they're a, a step up from Arrow Boys in pretty much every sense of the word. Slightly lower hit chance, slightly lower attack speed, slight, uh, considerably lower range, but much bigger unit size, so they're throwing a lot more missiles. They have shields, so they're better at taking return fire, although the Arrow Boys do have two hit points, so it's a bit of a wash really there. Um, but where these guys really excel is in taking down like you know big units, cab and giants and things like that. I think I'll sell some of these items. Just keep the good health potions. And we're pretty, like, desperate for money in the early stages of this campaign. Yeah, I definitely want to mount for Gorbash. It's pricey, but can't really justify not getting it. Let's get the spear throws fully upgraded. Well, at least get their attack fully upgraded. And these ball boys, uh, it's so expensive, but it's worth it. 
probably, honestly, I don't really want to bring any of these units. Like, I don't really want to upgrade them because I'm going to be replacing them. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's not too bad. And yeah, I'm not going to replenish them because we will get a chance to do that in the battle itself. Go about showing his piggy. Alright, let's go get stuck in. I'll just go bash on his pig, he looks so hilarious. Boss, there is another old tribe nearby. They have lots of boys with them. Might be that they will join your war. We will need every boy who can hold a chopper for battles against the humans. Send a message to the boss of this tribe and tell them that his tribe now belongs to me. Right, boss. Uh, hey, boss, he signs that have been left for us. What about? Well, uh, how do we know that this is leading us to a war? These signs will lead us to bigger and better fights. You question me, orders, horse hunt? Uh, no, no, of course not. We better keep the boys ready, though. There is a Yumi army nearby. The Shaman is the best character in this campaign. This guy's a freaking idiot. I know orcs are not supposed to be super intelligent, but they are supposed to have, like, a low animal cunning. You know, not be easy to sort of trick and be borderline impossible to, you know, negotiate with and all that sort of stuff. That's... Yeah. Works a little bit differently in this game, apparently. Anyway, let's get stuck in. This looks very ragtag. It is a bit ragtag, but it's okay. The boss's message to the Iron Skins tribe. Yes, Shaman. Well, speak up then. What was the answer? Uh, uh. Yeah, sounds about right. Should have been in his head, and then he, he should have survived and should become like a side character. It's like this orc lieutenant with an axe sticking out of his head. That would be the most orky thing. Anyway, so. The way to get this mission done with minimal fuss. I am the best shaman ever. Get out of the way, you and Obviously, just uh, line up your boys in the normal way. So basically, there's a challenge. And once we win the challenge, we basically take control of this guy's army with the exception of a couple of units. So we do have to fight a couple of units, or so kite them back so we don't have to fight anything else in the camp. <laughs> and then we just run Gorbash in on his piggy and get him into the summing. So take this as a bit of a strategy guide if you're having trouble with this campaign, because this campaign can be quite tough. And it's one of those annoying things where it's like, if you mess up during, like, say, the first three missions, you're not going to know it until, like, the fifth mission, at which point you're going to be like, oh, shit, my campaign is, like, unwinnable. So, yeah, you want to kite these two guys back. And the reason I'm putting Gorbash with the Boar Boys is it can be worthwhile, but for the time being, he will, um, they won't be able to use their spear throw if he's with them. Oh, don't tell me they're running back. Let's push forward just a little bit. Maybe give him a spear throw to think about. So these Gorbos, like I said, they're... At the moment, it's kind of a wash because those ball boys have she uh, those arrow boys have chevrons and they're a little bit juiced up. Where are you going, dickheads? They're going like all the way back. How fucking am I? Shoot the arrow. Yeah, spear through the arrow boys, please. They're the ones that can actually shoot back. And pull out. You want me to do something? Can uh, hook up with Gorbash now? Get on with it. You got a clever idea or what? Oh fuck off! Come on! Like, I tell you guys, I play these games. Like, I've played this campaign a hundred times. 
this shit does not happen unless you're recording a game. And it's just the curse of the of the game recording. And why are my units not opening fire when they're clearly fucking him? Alright, fuck it. You know what? If they just want to be spear throwed bit by bit, then that's what we'll do. If they're going to be complete dickheads about this, fuck around, waste my time with this bullshit. And okay, so they're fucking coming back now. They literally cannot make up their minds. Apparently they only want to fight us within range of everything else at the camp, which is just 100% not how they fucking work, but whatever. And of course they're blocking us from getting to the Arab boys because that's just how it has to work because you know fuck it, right? Nothing can be easy. Nothing can be neat. Not when you're not when you're recording. These just kill those Arab boys. Stop wasting my time. So we've taken them out. So this guy wants to run forward, get into a challenge with this guy. As you can see, they know it's a bullshit challenge for you because this guy's so high level. So they give him some uh, missing health. <laughs> now you actually want to hold your army back here. Don't run straight into the camp. Trust me on this. This mission is some spicy horse shit in terms of what they put you up against. So like I said, do not run straight into the camp. So, we get two units of black locks. Very, very important for our, the growth of our army. But this camp is literally surrounded by Empire artillery. So you basically want to send Gorbash out on a bit of a commando raid to take out the artillery. And in the meantime, you basically want to keep your forces back. Because they will endlessly spawn units and attack the camp. So make sure you do not come into artillery range. Because they will just rip your units up. Please attack the mortar. Please the best shots. I am the best Shaman. Is there a bed, boss? You run away, you suck. Yeah, see, this is the first of their attacks. What do you want? Where the fuck did those handguns come from? They is all dead, boss. Of course. Of course they just have like six handguns sitting here for no reason. Why not? Oh well. Free experience for Gorbash, I'll take it. He's out of stamina though, which is extremely annoying. Just gonna have to sit here for a little bit. What's the play? I might push forward just a smidge. So basically, when you go out to get the handguns, that's when the artillery will start. Smacking you in the face. And that's when you want to watch out. So make sure you take out every artillery piece. As you can see, there's another mortar there. Don't worry about these guys. They'll fight and die. They'll do their job. Something up, boss. All right, I'm done. Go, go, go! Your poor boys is on it, boss. More of them. Make Sigma Raiders fire! Ugh! How tough the AI's artillery is. You want me to do something? My boys can take these handguns and sweep around and get that mortar. Shaman, use your earthquake. Yeah, yeah, nice. Just trying to open up on my fucking ball boys. Make it their own handgunners. Now that was nice. Just finish them off because they will rally and come back and nip at our heels and shoot at us, which would be very annoying. So, definitely want to finish them off. Alright. Arab boys, 
Okay, get some replenishment. I is the best. I must find something to fight. Go bash on the piggies. Basically, you want to form up outside the camp now. Ready to match eight, boss. Who you want, shot, boss? So Black Ox are pretty good. They're basically Chaos Warriors. Although they look pretty freaking mean. I do like the dual weapon Black Ox. I kind of wish they were, um... Thing in, uh, Total War. Alright, boys. Push forward, lads. speak to me! How it is. Sort yourselves out. Mork tells us where to suit. Your bash is the biggest and the baddest. I'll take him out. Over there. He's attacking us. We'll smash their engine. Never use the Black Hawk special ability. I'm pretty sure they lose hit points when you actually use it. It is. Legitimately, maybe the worst specialty in the game. Oh, these little fuckers are on stand ground. Of course they are. Recharge this swordsman, please. Ready to match eight, boss. Who you want, shot, boss? This guy must have gotten a chevron. Don't hang up. Flashman there. You want me to do something? So they will keep sending forces like that. So you gotta sort of do a bit of juggling in the sense of like um you know, basically when this runs out of power. You wanna get in there, get stuck in. Ball boys. What do we got here? More swordsmen, more halberds. No, just swordsmen. You can see how devastating the spear throw is. When you're not targeting a unit with two hit points, why are you just randomly deciding to charge without orders? That's a no. That's a naughty. That's a bad. No! No! And. Stop slouching! Go bash. Go bash! Go bash! What do you want? Can we charge them? Can we hit them, please? Damn it, they use their shield parry. Let's pull out. Something up, boss. Cut them back. Oh, our archers have such bad range. You want me to do something? I ain't never lost a fight. That way. I go where I want to. I go where I want to. I'll hit them good. Good, lads. Over here, captain, handgunners, swordsmen. I might just rush Gorbash in and duel their captain. Please kill them to the last. Don't, don't let them run away. Challenge, please. Kill them all. Challenge, please. There we go. This is a bit risky. Though this guy is only level 4. But my health potions are on cooldown, so. What are you Fuck off, AI. Are. Ooh, that way looks good. I'm not gonna friggin' fight you with this challenge bubble, messing point? with my visibility and everything else. I ain't never lost a fight. 
Something up, boss. Besides which, we there, yeah? if we get some more replenishment for some of my get units before the end of this fight, I will. Okay, I'm gonna go about. Uh, alright, yeah, okay, fuck off. The there we go, you actually let me pick up the potion, Jesus. Oh, I'm getting hanged on to shit here. Jesus. Come on. Such is life. These things happen. Missing a couple of black orbs. It's not too problematic. What you want us to do? Missing one piggy. Sort of. Don't need to waste replenishment there. Let's just get our black orbs replenished. And then we'll go finish these empire grubbers off. Spear chuckers. Why did you just let that one guy go away? Decide to be nice to him? Whatever. You've done this battle about as well as I personally, about as well as I could do it. Lost hit points on a character is really kind of irrelevant because they will get full replenishment when the battle's over. Yeah, these handgunners, they're gonna be the, uh, the main danger. Get somewhat organized here. One more man running in. I'll take him out. A little stupid. He's going, boss. These black orcs can cut around. What is it, Why are you not? It's our boys, the boss is here. Yeah, whatever. They can't speak it's to me. Us. Get a move on. Shame in. Get ready with your earthquake. Kaboom. We'll have them. Free raw. Well, mass. May as well pop the big drums. It's not gonna actually do anything meaningful in this fight, but yeah. Something I'll take it. For me to do. You got something to say. Finish them. Nice charge into the rear. What is it? Down there, mass. Yeah, potion, I don't even know what it is, but. Golden potion. We got the full mission ends if possible. 500 gold? I'll take it. So that should be the end of this mission. Yeah. Did that about as nicely as I could have hoped. I think I'm down like two black orcs and one black orc, but. I mean, we came into it with a very ragtag army, and we came out of it with, uh, you know, a fairly nice and quite replenished army. Plus a couple of health potions, but that's fine. Gratefully accepted. Uh, Two thousand gold. That's it. Oh, well. So, definitely want our black orcs replenished, and ideally we want them fully upgraded. So probably leave good chunk of this army behind, like these boar boys. Go here. Plus two armor. Yeah, it's not bad. And this guy's got his Gork Smash fully maxed out. Gorbash now has tenacity. You should probably get Gork Strength. Not a big fan of Grim Roll. I mean, it's okay having it at level one just to increase his attack speed a little bit. Get some extra kills, but yeah, probably should go for Warmonger. Probably not going to be able to do any more fighting. I kind of want that 
Let's get our upgrades first though. 350. Let's just get the second. So we want to get these Black Orcs fully upgraded. Yeah, let's get champions as well. You know, we're a bit on the broke side, but we do have three fully upgraded elites and three fully upgraded uh, archers. And I got these two ball boys, they got some extra armor, so we'll hold on to them, they could be useful later. I can just about afford to get that shield. Uh, it's a bit risky. Ah, eh, what's life without a little risk? So the next battle is actually pretty major, if I remember correctly. It's going to be a pretty big and a very scrappy fight. We will get some extra units again, though. No chance for replenishment, unfortunately. And a lot of it's fought in, like, nasty choke points. So there's not a lot you can really do tactically. Anyway, we'll be getting in there at the start of next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, and do, you know, keep an eye out if you, as I say, if you need um, help as far as how to, you know, get through these missions and and get yourself well situated for taking on the rest of the campaign. I can show you what I know in that context. And uh, I hope it'll help you. But until then, until next episode, I'll catch you on the flip side. Wa, cho, we